Alrighty, g'day guys, welcome to another game of Legion TD on FBG. What do we got? Okay. This definitely isn't balanced, but how am I going? How exactly shall I play it? Hmm. Probably a single ship. Job done. We semi Riptorias though? We're very Riptorias. What can I do against that? I can start double sentry or I can build five cults. I don't. Do I want five riders? Probably. Get about five riders. I think I'm just not going to. And the game plan is they don't send warriors. Because the thing is, like, would I like to cover warriors? Yes. But I'm not so sure I can. Like, I add five cults. Am I mid to warriors? Maybe. You know? But I'm, I'm not so sure. Hmm. Yeah, a little bit rough. Okay. Excellent. The game is the game is fine now. So it should be pretty obvious to my team that I'm gonna overbuild, so I don't need to tell them. I shouldn't need to tell them. It was three zero zombie start. I like that. He's going egg disciple, which is fine. That's three. I think three is fine. Send three blood orcs, which is generally like not bad at all. Definitely appears to be a ship kill speed. There. And we'll get the first broken rider. I don't actually know if it's broken or not. I don't. I think riders only a little bit too strong. Falls off a bloody cliff, so. Anyway, he adds a little bit. He's gonna get a second zombie, presumably, which is good. Gets an egg sack. Two egg sacks. Hmm, okay. I think if I was gonna mix uh, with one disciple till five, then I would push more here. But personally, I'd just get the second disciple anyway. Let's see what they do. Okay, they do send here. I get Spirit Horse, so I actually get quite lucky. Um, it's definitely going to be a lot easier to hold than Double Spirit. Well, I say hold. I will, I will do a lot better against it than Double Spirit. Actually, is that true? Maybe Horse hurts the ship more. How much damage does it have? 22... Maybe horses actually more damage. Otherwise, this is not too bad for me, though. Um, I'm just gonna get the second rider. Yeah, let me just get the second rider. I think a little bit, but it's only six scrapes, so it's not too bad. Uh, this should 100% be full push. So, okay. It's pushing. Yeah, I, I mean, I think horse is still probably better for me. Anyway, it's fine. I know I don't need a second rider here, like I can build less. But I don't really want to build just like, quote unquote, crap. Even though riders are like, quote unquote, crap. Like, I don't want a sentry, for example. Our time is now enlightened. Don't want one of those on my lane. I got pulverizer. Fuck yes, I got pulverizer. I think I would have built it there, but it's funny. It is funny. I am prepared. Okay.
I think even if we decide to send four, I want Jack early. So. And I know Ship Rider doesn't look like a good combination, but as soon as I upgrade the ship, it will be a good combination. King Lake, right? It only has 38 HP. I'm pretty sure we're King Lake. Yeah, we do. That's funny. They definitely expect four now. So at this point, they're 100% looking to overbuild until we send. Well. They are basically certain that we send, and therefore they are most likely intending to overbuild. Maybe that's the way I should say it. Okay. So, how much is Ryder? By the way, I totally forgot I built that one. 110 gold. So 220 I'm currently on, so normally you'd say I'd be on 201, but I'm actually on 195. I need 25 gold. I'm going to get that unless there's leaks. That's for two riders. I can do other things. I don't really want to do other things though. We just starve ourselves if we wait forever. So I would probably just trigger it. Actually, it's pretty helpful that like. I bid you out with it. Enlighten me. I bid you upgrade complete. So you have three muggles, four blood ops, two furbs. It's gonna be three furbs. And I'll send a hermit as well, I guess. I don't reach a whelp. They also send, I'm happy about that, I also got Militia Blood Orc, so they kind of fucked themselves on the send split. Oh no, I got Militia Blood Orc well, okay, fine. Uh, still should be like relatively okay for me, right? I killed the Blood Orc. <laughs> That's not wonderful. That's okay though. And greet a little bit of push. Nice like. Not really. I wanted to actually hold it, but not liking much, so it's not the end of the world. He's mid. Let's just stay on this push actually. He's pushing, yeah. Thorn vs Thorn. 
No, nah, Thornbus is the one I can push, right? I think so. They're also going to lose two heals, so they have to be really careful. Yeah, I can grade for sure. I'm going to 5-2. Since they're losing two heals here, they have to be really careful of just dying. And by 5-2, I mean 6-2 as well. We have Thorn. I just... Why why would I do that when we have Thorn? Why would I not just eat more in mid? Because he doesn't give much bounty. That is true. Yeah, it's minus one at the moment. I thought they were going to lose second, but... Have they got a lot of regen? Maybe. They are going to lose second, though. And our mana. Yeah, we can send the rest on seven, but I uh, don't do this. I mean, it's actually fine. No, it it is actually fine. I don't. Don't. <laughs> Don't. Don't you even think about taking a fucking free help with this roll. Like, that's fine. My initial reaction was tilt at this because it's like, it makes me staying 5-1 a lot worse if he's going to free help. Like, it makes what I'm doing staying lower than I need to. It makes it worse because he's taking the free hold. That's okay because his roll's good. Like, fine. It makes sense. But this, it's like, no, 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 no. You're the 7-7 seven, seven roll. You don't, you don't get to take a free hold. Nah, didn't scout anything. He is going to take the fucking freehold, isn't he? Uh, they're playing like this, I wish I just went fucking 7-3. Should I just full push now? <sighs> Worst roll taking a free hold is not what you want though. Because minus two thorn and no mids five, it really, with no mana on five, it really tells us, like, okay, they have to be, like, pretty fucking scared of dying on seven. So, like, how much can they send? Probably fuck all. And then, yeah, the worst roll on the team takes a bunch of feed with, um, freehold seven and kills, uh, and kills pink's chance to recover. Like, it's not the end of the world, it's just really, like, I don't want to call it brain dead. It's like, not looking at, like, somewhat thoughtless, maybe? In the sense that you just thought, like, okay, I'm looking at my lane and it's like, I can get a freehold, I'm going to get a freehold, and it's like, good job, not actually helpful, you know? As I said, not the end of the world, but not what 
not what we sort of wanted. Obviously, because um, three people staying low instead of one to two. We don't actually send much. We do take a third heal, which is lucky, which is firm, but we don't deserve to take the third heal. You see, they're almost out of mana already. Uh, but yeah, we should have been looking to actually send quite a bit, just knowing that it's really difficult for them to send. Is that a... Out with it. Enlighten me. Is that a question that needs to be asked in FPG, is it? Hope not. The Butcher Necker in a lane that free held seven. I am prepared. <laughs> Out with it. No. <laughs> I'm I'm not that insane on ten though. It's fair to say, like I'm pretty good on ten. It's definitely correct for me to build on ten, but I'm not necessarily that insane on ten. Rod is pretty fragile. I didn't get as much feed as I should have gotten either. Me and Orange, I suppose, really on 7. I'll kind of include him in that. <laughs> it's just funny, my immediate reaction was like, Oh my god, what are you doing? Why are you taking a free hold? I thought about it for like a couple of seconds, like, Oh yeah, it's actually really good, he's taking a free hold. It just makes the way I played my lane a little bit worse. And then when Green takes a free hold as well, which I do think is a mistake, makes the way I played my lane a lot worse. Rizura start was really good. It was really, really good. Because he's got... Like, yeah, Mamad's really good, but he's still got a better role, at least, for playing in the early. And so... And because of my role, he can't overbuild or play greedy. He has to YOLO. So I really like the 3 zero start. I really, really like it. It's like he just doesn't get to play greedy this game, and that's just how his role sort of functions uh, with mine and oranges. Well, realistically, it's like pink or orange gets to play greedy, but with the necro, orange is just better on 10, so. And the hawk is obviously like a solid add. Pandalock? Pandalock is fine. Can you also do two? No, it doesn't have much wood. Okay. He will if we're full sending. Okay. Cool. Uh, we'll get a couple of those. Because they had a butcher lane. Anyway, my plan is Dark Priest farm, rest just cults and upgraded. I have free, but I'm not going to use it. I want more Dark Priests in the game before I um, do that. Yeah. Okay, that. 
And then, like, two blocker cults and one more cult in the back. Sounds totally fine. Two or just one? Maybe just one. I would honestly probably just put two landmines as a blocker, but okay. Let's do, let's do two blockers. One to two landmines. I just feel like 60 gold is a lot. Losing 30 gold on a blocker feels painful. Uh, I'm gonna save. We're like not that insane here. That's my spawn. Spawn looks okay. Yeah, relatively, relatively happy with that, I suppose. So we get the pull. It's on the boss I'm not focusing, but it doesn't matter, because it's on a boss. Like, the first pull is pretty nice. Ship does get sniped, but I am going mid. So that's good. He's also going mid. Excellent. Works out relatively well. Somewhat lucky. And they didn't send as much as realistically they should have sent, or should have been able to send. Kind of suggests that their rolls slash their builds were not very good. Maybe they actually lost three heals on five. Possible, not sure. Anyway. It's funny, like, such an easy game, we made it hard. You know, like, if they don't die here... But I'm not even sure we're ahead. But they do die here, so we're ahead. Very ahead. Because, you know, we won. Anyway, cheers very much for watching guys, appreciate it, like, subscribe, all of that, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.